This is part 146 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss why use master pages. It's common for a website to have a consistent look and behavior across all the pages in the web application. It's common for a website to have a website header, some kind of navigation menu, website footer, and a main section. This is the section that changes on a page by page basis. To have a layout similar to the one that we have seen on the previous slide across all of our pages without the use of master pages, there are two options in ASP.NET. Option 1 copy and paste the required HTML across all pages in the application. To speed things up, I have already implemented that HTML. So let's copy that HTML. Let's now flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a blank ASP.NET Web Forms application. Within this Web Form 1.aspx, Let's paste the copied HTML. Let's now select the entire HTML, press Ctrl K and D to format it properly. To achieve this layout, we have used HTML table. So notice that we have an HTML table here where we have set font family to Arial. And the table is going to contain three TRs. So this is the first TR, second TR, and third tier. So within this table, notice that we have got three TRs. And notice that within the first TR, we have only one TD. And the width of that TD should span across the width of two TDs. To achieve that, we have set call span of the TD in the first TR to two. And we have also set the style attribute. We have set width to 800 pixels, height to 80 pixels. This is the background color and we have center aligned the text. And this is the text that is displayed in the header. And within the second TR, we have got two TDs. This is the first TD and this is the second TD. Notice the width of the first TD is much lesser than the width of the second TD. Okay, so within the second TR we have got two TDs. This is the first TD which displays that text menu and again for this TD we have set the style attribute. Height is set to 500 pixels, this is the background color and notice the width 150 pixels. And the width of second TD is 650 pixels because that is the main section of the layout which is going to change on a page by page basis. And the final TR has got only one TD and the width of that one TD is spanning across the width of two TDs. So within the final TR, we have got only one TD, we have set call span to two. This is the background color, we have center aligned the text. So very straightforward HTML here. All right, now let's go ahead and run this. So when Web Form 1 renders, we should have a layout similar to this one. Okay. Now, let's say we want to have this similar layout on all of the pages in our entire application. And let's assume our application is going to contain 200 web forms. Now, if we want to have this layout on all of the 200 web forms, then we need to copy this HTML on all of the 200 web forms. So what are the drawbacks of copying and pasting this HTML on all of the pages within the application? Here are they. First of all, we will have a lot of duplicated HTML on every page. And number two, if we have to change something in the common layout, we will have to make that change in all the pages, which is time consuming and error prone. For example, if we want to change the website header to my website header, we have to change that text on each and every page where we have copied and pasted this HTML, which is time consuming and error prone. All right, the second option is to implement the layout using user controls. So what we basically can do is create a header user control, a menu user control, and then a website footer user control. And then we can use those user controls on each and every web form. What are the disadvantages of using user controls to achieve this layout? Here are they. First of all, 
we will end up with complicated HTML and CSS if we have to design the layout similar to the one that we have seen on the previous slide using user controls. And number two, all the user controls have to be manually added on each and every page of the site. Okay, so again, there's a manual element there. That's why the best approach to have a consistent look and feel across all the pages in a web application is to use master pages. In our next video, we'll discuss master pages. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.